okay, a lot of people here have not, would not have seen real image. So this is the, what I want to go over now. It's a distinction between what a real image is and what a virtual image is. It's a very simple distinction. Mm. I want to put this somewhere where almost everyone can. So with a plain mirror, you will only ever see virtual image. You won't see real image. So let me take this away. Uh, this is something called the Fresnel lens. What it is, is it's a magnifying glass. Like you can see my face magnified, right? And I can see it. Do I look like a magnified face? Yes, OK. Um, all right, so it's a, all it is, it's a magnifying glass. That's really what it is. It's a, the, it has a special construction that allows to be super thin, but just think of it like a magnifying glass and you won't be wrong. All right, so it's a magnifying glass. And um, right now what you are seeing is a virtual image. It's just like the thing you see in the mirror, not that different. So this is a light bulb that we actually use for magnetism in 4B, but it'll work well enough for what we want to do, I think. Um, so let me turn this on. And you can see the light bulb. And uh, let me just to see how, kind of have to know the focal length of this thing. Um, all right, so right now you are seeing virtual image for those of you who can see it. Let me see if I can get it to uh, project a real image. Sorry, to be way back here to see. Uh, all right, yeah, I think that's good enough. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it around. So when you're on this side, so you see the light bulb either right side up or upside down, big deal. Sometimes it looks big, sometimes it looks small. So what I want to demonstrate is the actual difference between real image and virtual image. I can do it more easily if uh, this room isn't so bright. So let me bring down the blinds to do that. So let me turn off everything here. I think that'll be dark enough. I am going to flip this around so that now the source of light is over here and I am going to try to form a real image on this side. Mm. All right. So the optical quality of Fresnel lens isn't very good. So this is the best I can do. This is the real image of the lens, and uh, not lens, of the filament. It's still upside down, right? Yeah, it's still upside down. So this is what I want you to imagine. When this light bulb was on this side, this lens, it actually formed a real image somewhere, let's say, over here. I mean, there is nothing physical here, but the real image formed here. And when you are looking through the lens, the light that you are seeing coming from this looked like it was coming from this location in space. Now, this is demonstrating more concretely that there is something here that's not at any other place. Like it's out of focus here, it's in focus here. So this is something that's projecting an image. Projecting it so that you can uh, project it on a screen, make it go through diffuse reflection and see it from other places. That's something that's only possible with a real image and not with a virtual image. It's because the distinction between real and virtual image is that for real image, you can do this. You can draw a ray of light coming from the light bulb through the optical element, and it actually ends up at some place where the image is. When you look at this, uh, uh, let me turn on the lights back. Maybe, oh, it's bright enough to actually do that. Oh. Um, when you look at this uh, virtual image from this mirror, the, the light rays, they do appear to be coming from here but it doesn't actually come from here. When you have a real image, sort of imagine when it was the other way around, the light rays do appear to be coming from this point image, that's what image is, but, and they actually do. They actually do come from here. 
So that's the distinction between a real and virtual image. In both cases, you would say image is um, where light rays appear to come from. And I guess um, it's uh, better to define just the word real. Um, when you have a real image, not only the light rays appear to come from there, the light rays actually come from the image. I mean, you know, originally from the object, but through the intermediate step, it actually does come from the actual the image. So light rays actually um, come from doesn't sound quite right. Um, I want to say go through, actually go through the image, actually go through image. So that's the distinction. Virtual would be the negation of this. Light rays don't actually go through the image. Like here, the virtual image, the no real light rays ever went through this point. So, um, so when you have a virtual image, like, um, so okay. When you see something like this, you see a virtual image of this light bulb um, on the other side of the lens. Like the light rays come, appear to come from somewhere here, right? And if I place the screen anywhere here, you wouldn't see what you're seeing on the whiteboard before because no light rays are actually here that you are seeing as a virtual image here. Yeah. So that's the distinction. I want to draw that distinction now and start developing your intuition because um, having this intuition will make it easier for you when you start mentioning some sign conventions and doing all this math. Um, so what intuition is helpful for is it tells you when you are wrong also tells you when you are right, but more importantly, it tells you when you are wrong so that you can sort of look for what's wrong. Um, one, once you have a clear understanding of what real image is, what virtual image is, that will make it easier for you to apply the sign rules that we are going to cover soon.